Singapore. While passing the Strait of Singapore, the Bex Halil was in collision with a smaller bulk carrier, which was suddenly veering across its course. You can see the smaller vessel veering to port across the course of the Bex Halil, which was underway from Haldia to Nablaki at that time. The smaller cargo vessel was hit on port side in the aft, after it was unable to stop or alter course for the larger ship. The Singapore Coast Guard was called to the incident, but there were no reports of any injuries. China Container ship Renjian 15 went out of control, while maneuvering to berth at Nansha Port Guangzhou. It moved straight at berth container ship Hai Su-10, and struck her starboard inflicting serious damage. Even it moves slowly you will see the impact. It jolted the ship and made the containers fell onto pier, the hull was breached with ensuing water ingress. Which result for calling the emergency and maritime SAR teams to avoid disastrous consequences. And reportedly situation was taken under control. Germany The 69-meter-long 1,340-DWT tanker Jana collided with the 139-meter-long 13,059-DWT box ship from Kiev on the Kiel Canal near Schult Bay Rendsport, Germany. The Jana had suffered rudder failure and struck the Herm Kiev and caused significant damage while the, the Herm Kiev suffered only slight damage. The Jana was en route to Brunsbüttel from Rostock with 1,000 tons of biodiesel while the Herm Kiev was heading for Aarhus. No reports of injuries. And there it goes like nothing happened. Turkey This ship say goodbye to the ocean. As it goes straight to the ship breaking yards in Turkey Aliaga. The MV Hera is a cargo vessel owned by Swallow Shipping Line UK Limited. It's like a vintage ship, she was built before 1961. And she was scrapped due to cost and running cuts, and the fact that she is a very old vessel. Sailing from 1961 to 2016. Italy Two ships both departed from the port of Genoa, clashed off the coast of Corsica. The collision between Catunavu Lee's Ferry and the container ship CSL Virginia happened about 28 kilometers northwest of Cape Corso. After four days, the two ships which had remained wedged together were disentangled under the effect of waves and attempts to pull them apart. The hole left on the right side of the CLS Virginia leaked between 40 and 200 cubic meters of fuel. There were no injuries reported. Australia Back in 2010, this CCTV footage shows the huge bulk carrier, Grand Rodosi spearing headlong into the side of the tuna boat Apollo S, whilst moored at the wharf in Port Lincoln, South Australia. Eyewitnesses have explained that when the container ship and the tuna vessel collided it was like watching a can opener on a can of baked beans. Unfortunately the boat sank and there's been an oil spill and a diesel spillage in the area that need cleanup. No injuries were reported, at the time there were no crew on board the fishing vessel. Istanbul, Turkey The 225-meter-long, 74,269-DWT bulk carrier Vita Spirit alighted with the shoreline on the Bosphorus, under the Fatih Sultan Mehmet Bridge near Istanbul, Turkey. The Vita Spirit had become disabled after its rudder became stuck. Unable to steer, the bulk carrier ran against the shoreline striking the 18th-century Hekimba Salia Fonda mansion. The mansion was nearly destroyed but there were no reports of injuries or pollution released from the Vita Spirit. Thailand Container ship Zethabum collided with the embankment on Jiao Praia River Bangkok on February 14, while leaving Bangkok port. Vessel suddenly lost control and crashed into embankment. According to police, vessel lost control because of strong water turbulences caused by violent current. According to AIS, vessel already resumed voyage to Singapore. Spain A passenger vessel named the Excellent has collided with a cargo dock crane at the popular cruise port in Barcelona, Spain. The ship crashed into the pier causing a crane to collapse and cause major damage. 
the excellent cruise ferry which was arriving in Barcelona from Genoa, Italy, when control of the ship was lost due to bad weather. The vessel crashed into one of the dock crane head-on, and as a result one of the large cranes collapsed onto the containers below. When the crane fell onto the containers there was also an explosion, and a fire broke out. This could have occurred from the materials which were within some of the containers. Local emergency services including fire crews managed to extinguish the fire. Venice, Italy This cruise ship apparently unable to halt its momentum, blaring its horn as it plows into the much smaller river boat in the dock, as dozens of people run away in panic. The cruise ship's owner, MSC Cruises said the ship the MSC Opera, was about to dock at a passenger terminal in Venice when it had a mechanical problem. Two towboats guiding the cruise ship into Venice tried to stop the massive cruise ship, but they were unable to prevent it from ramming into the river boat. Four people were injured during the incident. London A 300-ton pleasure boat with 151 people on board, crashed into a pier on the Thames in London after its engine caught fire. Nobody on board was injured following the crash. The fire was put out before firefighters arrived at the scene and passengers and crew were taken off the ship by two other boats on the river. India a 10,100 Teo container ship operated by French shipping company CMA CGM, crashed into a portion of the jetty at the Uwaharlal Nehru port, in Navasheva near Mumbai. An initial investigation showed that the Hong Kong flag CMA CGM Mumbai, which was delivered just earlier this year, was dropping anchor at the port when it struck the jetty while making a turn. The crew reportedly lost control as the ship was coming into dock. The damage to the port was not major according to Navasheva police. South Korea A Russian cargo ship with a drunk captain on board, smashed into a motorway bridge in South Korea as cars drove along it. The 6,000-ton vessel Seagram crashed into the side of Gwangan Bridge in the port of Pusan. According to Korea Coast Guard, the ship which should have been heading in the opposite direction of the bridge, turned around and sailed off the other way. A gaping 5-meter wide hole was torn into the lower part of the bi-level bridge, and no injuries were reported. The Korean Coast Guard questioned the crew on board, and discovered the ship's Russian captain was allegedly over the legal alcohol limit for driving the vessel. The Coast Guard said it was not yet clear whether the captain had been at the helm at the time of the crash. USA Sometimes vacation turn into something like this, this whale-watching cruise ship named Adventure Hornblower, was approaching to the dock to take the people waiting for the next tour on the board, but it failed to stop properly. It's officially reported that seven passengers have injured because of this unfortunate accident, three of them were sent to hospital with major leg and neck injuries. Greece General cargo ship Olga M collided with Hakita of Repos Bridge Avia. Reportedly bridge and vessel didn't suffer significant damages. Indonesia A surprising event occurred in the construction area of Gandhari Bay Bridge, southeast Sulawesi, in the port of Nusantara. This incident shocked the witnesses in the harbor, including the passengers who were still on the ship. Witness said they saw it avoided the barge and the bridge poles before it lost control and hit the spring rack office. 
There were 181 passengers on board that time and all were declared safe.